Hello, my name is Tony Leach. I'm professor of music and music education at the Pennsylvania State University. In my role in the School of Music, I teach undergraduate and graduate courses in choral music education. I also conduct two choirs, the University Choir, which is our largest mixed choir, and Essence of Joy, which focuses on sacred and secular music from the African and African American choral traditions. Today, I'm going to teach you a piece that I would teach to Essence of Joy or my church choir or audiences across the United States and beyond. It's a very simple praise song. The text simply says, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice, rejoice. This is the day. The style is traditional gospel, but it has an interesting contemporary twist to it. We are in B flat minor. I'm going to play through the entire song, and then I'm going to model all the parts, put them together to you, for you, just as I would do in a rehearsal setting. Sopranos to echo me. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Support. Here it is all lined out for you. Sound like 
I would use the very same procedure that I use with the sopranos. I sing a phrase, the alto sing a phrase after me. Then we link phrases, we link phrases, and eventually they have the whole thing. The tenor part starts on the D flat. Listen to it. Oops, my fault. There we go. Here's the tenor part. sing it, tenor sing it after me, then I add the tenor and the alto, then I add the tenor, alto, and soprano. You get a three-part chord, etc. The bass part. Listen. together with the accompaniment. Now there are extensions, and the extensions come from this whole notion of call response. The soloist or the leader will do something, and then the choir, the audience will respond. So that's the basic roadmap. Now here are some possibilities for extensions. Here's the intro. Rejoice and be glad in it. 
That's the whole song with extensions. Notice I had to become not only a soloist, but also a conductor. Since I am at the piano or I would be at the organ, my movements are minimal. If I want someone to repeat something, I do that. When we're done with it, I do that because I can play and get that left hand up there quickly. The choir knows what those cues are. When I'm doing a workshop with teachers, I explain all of my cues before they see them applied in real time. Thanks so much for your attention.